Good morning guys and welcome to today's video. So today I'm just going to take you guys along for like a day in the life, a little vlog. I have a few things going on today. Today is Saturday and so Harris is home watching the boys so that I can get my nails done. I'm in desperate need of a manicure and pedicure and I want to get this done this weekend since this upcoming week I'm having like a girls night out with my friend Casey. We were actually going to a winery so I'm taking that opportunity to use as an excuse to go and get my nails done so I just pulled up to my nail salon I'm going to get a manicure and a spa pedicure I originally made it for just a regular manicure but I'm like the first appointment of the day so I want to see if maybe they can do a gel manicure so that it lasts a little longer I used to do powder gel all the time for like years and then ever since like quarantine and everything I haven't gone back to that because my nails are finally all grown out from that and like super strong but I just can't get out of the house to get my nails done as frequently as I used to and so it makes sense to get some sort of gel manicure because it lasts a lot longer than a regular manicure so I think I'm gonna just get regular gel not powder gel I'm gonna see if they can do that for me so that's the first thing I have going on today and then I'm going to rent to CVS I need to pick some things up I need to pick up some makeup I seriously haven't worn like full makeup since New Year's Eve and like my mascara is dried out I haven't worn mascara in so long so like I just need to pick up a few things from CVS in terms of like makeup as well as I think we need like water in the house so we need to do that I'm gonna go get coffee after this since I didn't have time I'm actually early to my appointment but I didn't have time to stop and get coffee since we had a blowout explosion this morning five minutes before I left the house that I had to deal with before I put the boys down for a nap so I didn't get coffee so I'll do that later on and then I don't know I don't know what else I've planned we'll go back to the house I'll show you guys the boys I'll sneak peek my outfit since I am going to be vlogging on Wednesday that is when this girls night out is I'm going to vlog that but I'll sneak peek my outfit so we're just going to do a little day in the life I hope you guys enjoy this video it is 9 29 in the morning and my appointment's at 9 30 and they just opened the door so I'm going to head inside I'll take you guys inside and I'm going to get these nails done because they need it I just got out of my nail appointment and I decided to go with plain white on my toes because I love the way that like stark white looks on toes and I haven't gotten that in a while and then they were able to do a gel manicure for me so I got white on my first few fingers and then this really pretty green I decided to make my pinky my accent finger and I did this green since the dress that I'm wearing to the winery is that color which you guys will see later on so I'm very happy I feel so good I told them to cut them pretty short since I find that when I have longer nails I wind up stabbing the boys with them so I got nice short nails so I just watched on the monitors Harris got the boys up from their nap and is changing their diapers and like I mentioned earlier Ben had a bit of a blowout so he threw on like random shorts with Ben's pajama top because I said just leave them in their pajamas until I get home I'll get them dressed for the day so he has like random shorts on with his pajama top it looks pretty funny but I'm now going to turn the air conditioner on because it's a thousand degrees in my car and I'm going to head over to CVS to pick up the few things that I need and then Harris actually ordered coffee to the house because he wanted coffee now he didn't want to wait for when I got done running errands so coffee's at home but I might pick lunch up I'm starving and we really need to go grocery shopping and I had a piece of toast for breakfast so I might pick up lunch but I'm going to call him on my way to CVS and figure out what he needs and if he wants me to pick up something to eat I'm out of CVS now. I realized I did not take any clips in there. And I also realized that I forgot my tripod at home. I was gonna set it up and do like a hold up kind of haul, but I'm just gonna like flip the camera around and show you guys what I picked up. I picked up a few pieces of makeup because I seriously, either in the move, I lost my makeup or most of my makeup is dried up since I barely ever put makeup on now. So I picked up a few new things that kind of just perused the aisles and got some things. So I'm gonna quickly show you guys everything that I picked up. Here's, first of all, the water I picked up. We make the boys bottles with these like gallons of purified water. And then we also needed more water for ourselves. And then here's my little CVS bag. So let's them. Reach in and pull some things out. So first off, I got this Maybelline Cheek Heat Liquid Blush. I hope you guys can hear me. Let me turn the air off quick. 
I got this liquid blush. I tried out the Glossier ones. I got a sample when I ordered some things off of Glossier and I loved, but they were just too expensive and i also hate ordering things online sometimes makeup i just rather go to the store and pick it up so i thought this was somewhat comparable i don't think i've seen anybody talk about this on youtube or anything so i hope this is good and i got the color nude burn and then i got this this was the last one of these left so i figured that they're probably good if they're selling out this is a lifter gloss from maybelline and it is in the shade reef it's a pretty like nude peachy pink then I picked up a lip liner to go with that. This is just a nude liner from Maybelline. The color Nude Whisper. I picked up a new concealer. For the longest time, I used the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind One Concealer. I think I've seriously used that since like ninth grade. And I always got that one in the color Fair, I believe. But I have very dry under eyes in the summer especially, and that concealer does not work well with that. So I heard great things about the Camo Concealer from e.l.f., and I saw they had a hydrating Camo Concealer. So I picked this one up. I never know what color I am. I got the color Fair Warm, so we'll see if this will work out. I don't really wear foundation. I only ever spot conceal and conceal under my eyes, so that's what that is for. I picked up a pack of gum. And I think I picked up one more thing. I got a new mascara. I, for the longest time, used the CoverGirl Clump Crusher. And then I stopped using that and started using another CoverGirl um, mascara that was um, comparable to Too Faced Better Than Sex. And it's not the pink tube that everyone uses from, I think, Maybelline. Um, it was a different one. I forget the name. Anyway, long story short, I was on TikTok the other day and some girl talked about this mascara and her eyelashes looked amazing. So I decided to pick this up. I'm always open to new mascaras. I feel like you can never go wrong with trying out a new mascara. So that is everything I picked up. I am sweating in my car. I'm going to call Harris quickly and see if he wants me to pick up lunch. And if he does, I'll do that. And if not, then I'll head home. Jackie boy, Bubby, Bubby, Bubby too interested it is a lot later now it is around seven o'clock or maybe even later and my phone is about to die but i just came upstairs so that i can quickly sneak peek my outfit for wednesday for you guys i'm going to take it out of my closet and show you guys here in a second and i also just tried on that lip combo that i showed you guys that i got from cvs let me get into like better lighting so you guys can see but i am super happy with it it's a very pretty peachy pinky nude exactly the vibe that i was looking for the lip liner is so glidey and nice and the lip gloss has a great pigment so i highly recommend checking out those products that i showed you guys that i got from cvs but now i'm going to quickly take down my outfit it's in my closet here and i'll show you guys so excuse the mess the spit up stains that are probably on my bed from the boys but i actually ordered these two things from princess polly and this was my first time placing an order through princess polly so i was a little nervous i was unsure of sizing as far as the dress goes but i just went off of their little size guide that they have on there they ask you a whole bunch of questions which is really nice it's not just like going off measurements so i picked up this dress and i'm absolutely in love with it you'll see it on me on wednesday it seriously fits like a glove it has gorgeous ruching on the top little cap sleeves ruching all the way down the side so it's a super flattering fit and fabric for the mommy tummy that i still kind of have so i'm super happy and it's this really pretty green color as you can see my pinky nail it matches it perfectly and then it has little white flowers on it so i picked up that dress and then to go with that dress i got these which i know that these i will be able to wear with seriously anything and everything this was a great basic to buy for myself the dress and the shoes it's rather princess folly is rather I wouldn't say super expensive, but it is more expensive than your normal, like Forever 21. So it was kind of a bit of a splurge. I did get 20% off. There are 20% off coupon codes all over the internet for Princess Polly. They post new ones on their Instagram all the time. So if you guys are interested in checking out Princess Polly, I would recommend checking out their Instagram for 20% off codes. But I did get these two things for 20% off, and I think together it came to around $90. But the shoes I could seriously wear with anything and everything through the summer and the spring and even the fall. And this dress I can wear to a bunch of occasions if I ever have something to go to next spring or summer i will definitely whip out this dress so i will link these two things down below for you guys to check out and like i said i am vlogging on wednesday so if you guys want to see this on my body and in action at the winery with my friend casey just stay tuned for that vlog 
but I am going to go ahead and end this video here. I just wanted it to be a little day in the life and I really have not too much going on for the rest of the night. Harris went out to go grab some food for us and then I will eat that and just get into bed probably with a little glass of rosé or wine or something and watch whatever's on TV. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and if you haven't done so already, head on down there and subscribe. I appreciate that always. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.